So here's an update on the Nuvo 40. Everything is actually doing quite well. I've noticed that the mushrooms are loving it right now. Uh, I relocated a bunch of coral, put a bunch of stuff in its permanent positions. I have these two mushrooms here. They're staying there. Um, my two little recordias, they're staying there. This little island, in case I ever want to move them. I did get a new frog spawn up top there. It's a purple and yellow frog spawn. The, uh, the acro and the setosa are coming out of the tank. I just, I can't, I just don't like them. They don't move. I, I need things in my tank to move, so they are up for trade or for sale. If anybody wants them, I'm in the Jersey area. I'm not shipping anything, so. Um, here's that rainbow acan. That's its permanent home now. I also have an extra green gold hammer. It's a pretty nice one. Um, I did finally get the door painted with the, uh, you know, the inside is still a little messy, but these have, this has the nice non-slamming door. Look at that, perfect. I love it now. Look at that shine, Bear Ultra. So, there's the tank. I'm actually gonna show you guys my view when I'm sitting on the couch. That's my view, not bad. TV, tank, dining room table. So, that is it. I have a little video up here coming up on um, how my uh, little scooter Blenny's doing. He's actually a bottle fed fish. He eats right out of the turkey baster. And uh, I got another little clip of my cleaner shrimp. Uh, I would say half the day he's tackling the um, hawkfish and just picking at him, doing whatever he does. The hawkfish just goes up on his little ledge. The shrimp runs up on top of him, gets a little picking, and then he takes off. I've actually seen him sticking his hands in the mouth of the hawkfish, so I don't know what they're doing, but both of them are super healthy. I've had that hawkfish now for 16, 18 months, so, yep, they love each other, so, I'll show you those videos here in a second, and then uh, after this, I'm going to give you a quick update on the Planet Tank build. Here's a uh, top view of the Euphelia section. On the right is that purple yellow tip, which is awesome. Perfect combo. Uh, it's just a still photo that I got that rainbow mushroom that I thought was uh, pretty cool. So I took a quick picture and it came out pretty good. So here's, uh, here's how I feed the fish. You know, I turn off all my flow as usual and I give them frozen brine shrimp twice a day. Not a whole lot twice a day, but by the end of the day, it's a full cube up. You just saw that barnacle blenny shoot out. Might re rewind that, take another look. Those things are quick. So I like to feed us all the fish first. Then I bring over here, uh, let the shrimp get a little taste of what's going on. He's he's not too greedy, but he does like to feed a lot because the tank's pretty clean. He doesn't have a whole lot of food to scavenge for. So here's my little scooter blade. Check him out. As soon as he sees that turkey baster, straight bottle fed. I give him a couple little bites and then I sprinkle the sand with some food, maybe like five or six pieces if the Masaria snails don't get it first. But you can see he eats uh, twice a day, doing very good. When I got him he was kind of a little on the skinnier side than I'd like to see, but now he's juicy and fat and doing good so but yeah sometimes he'll even just swim all the way to the top of the tank he thinks he's an actual standard fish but he sinks so he just he hangs out and waits but he's cool just like this guy he just waits for every little thing and then 
On the left side over here is those uh, barnacle blennies. They usually wait for a fish to stop moving and they eye out, boom, there it goes. They, 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 uh, they're pretty cool still. I have two of those. I like to call them the boomerang boys because they just go straight out and straight back to right where they came from. Once in a while they'll miss their hole, it's funny, and they scramble to get back into to their spot. It's almost like they're aware of. There's another one there. Look, he ran to the top to get some more. So now here's my shrimp. He likes to get up in there. He takes about I don't know, 10 pieces, boards it up, and then goes to his little spot. Whatever's left, the hawkfish always gets. And then, like I was saying before, the, the shrimp and the hawkfish, they definitely have a symbiotic relationship because this is what they do all the time. They just hang out. He sits there, looks around. Shrimp jumps on him, pecks at him a little bit, and then he takes off. All right, so this is just the up-to-date so far on the planted tank. This is not the tank I'm using. I'm just soaking a piece of driftwood in here. It's floating, so I had to weight it down with some rocks so it wouldn't float, but you guys can see piece of wood. Um, I've actually been holding on to this piece of wood for just about three years. I got it from Trump Aquarium uh, back in the day and I had originally bought it for a 20 long so I ended up taking that spec 5 that they gave me and I told them you know I didn't really like the filtration design on it I just didn't like it so and it was only five gallon, so I wanted to kind of make a nice scape. So I gave them that back, and they gave me a bunch of other stuff, which I'm gonna actually, um, next week I should have that tank ready to go. So I wanna show a complete setup of what they have given me um, per my request, because I had a bunch of different ideas in mind, so they actually fully sponsored my Planet Tank. Um, so you're going to be seeing their little cue cards before every Planet Tank video. Uh, I love the place. When I call there, they know me by name because of my cell phone number on the caller ID. So you don't get any, you don't get a better LFS than that. You know, when they pick up, hey, Bill. I mean, I can sit with and joke them, joke with them on the phone if they're not busy. So big shout out to Trob Aquarium in New Jersey. I will have their information descriptions of every play a tank video um, but like I said I'm gonna be doing a reef update and a plan a tank update weekly been a little little bit crazy at work and at home so there's the wood it's awesome I don't have the official rocks that I'm gonna be putting in yet I do have the substrate and filtration and all the uh, equipment that I'm going to be using. It's going to be a lot of DIY. This is actually the tank I'm going to be using. It's just your standard 20 long, but this is a deep blue. You can tell you, the difference is the silicone. Look how nice the black silicone looks versus this like white line that I got in the back there. See that? I just, I couldn't stand it. So um, they ordered me a uh, deep blue standard tank. So I just painted the back black today, so it's just sitting there drying. Um, Got to have the black background. So I did put up some uh, new shelving today because I'm running out of room for a bunch of stuff. So I have my little workbench here, almost empty. Still a bunch of random crap on there though. So thanks for watching everybody, and uh, hopefully the next Planet Tank update will be everything before it's put together so stick with me on this i hope you guys will enjoy the planet tank edition of my channel like i've always said before uh it was the first thing i've ever done was planet tank and i need a little bit of green to look at so thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one